Thank you, Carly. With an excessive heat warning in effect through 10 p.m. tomorrow, the Oregon Office of Emergency Management is beefing up its response to save lives. Elise Haas has more on what the state is doing, but also what you can do to help as well. Good morning, Elise. Good morning, Travis and Ken. So the Office of Emergency Management says it's really going to take a community effort of all of us trying to help prevent these heat-related deaths. So that's checking on your neighbors, sharing the AC if you have it and they don't. They also are asking nonprofit organizations to help step up too and do what they can, whether that's passing out water or resources to people who might not be able to escape the heat. And on top of that, these heat waves that we are seeing are becoming more frequent. So the director of the Oregon Office of Emergency Management says there were just really hard lessons learned from June's heat wave. I think one of the most important takeaways, uh, we had never experienced heat like that in the Pacific Northwest, uh, and it's that heat is deadly, and we all have to take that seriously. Uh, there are a lot of things every Oregonian can do to try to, to stay cool, to try to help their neighbors or those that are more vulnerable or at risk in their community stay cool, uh, and it's going to take much more than just a government response. And he says state and local governments, though, are beefing up their response by opening more cooling centers and libraries, extending their hours, and increasing staff during this heat warning. They're sending out calls with heat alerts going door to door. Plus, 211 will have more people to answer the phone calls and text messages to direct people to cooling center and resources. But more than anything, they do stress that if you do not feel well because of the heat, please do not wait to call 911. It is not something that you can wait to do, so be sure to reach out if you need help. Reporting live in Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Elise. Good advice there. And speaking of cooling centers, both of them are open at both Beaverton City 